do. He wasn't bluffing. Watch. Что Великобритания устами заместителя главы Министерства обороны этой страны объявила не только о поставках танков на Украину, но и снарядов с объединенным ураном. Похоже, что Запад действительно решил воевать с Россией до последнего украинца уже не на словах, а на деле. Но хотел бы в этой связи отметить, что если все это будет происходить, то соответствующим образом Россия вынуждена будет реагировать, имея в виду, что коллективный Запад начинает применять уже оружие с ядерным компонентом. Yeah, so he was going to take action on those and blow them up. He was going to blow them up. He wasn't bluffing about that. And he also reiterated those remarks in another, uh, in another speech. Well, this weekend, we learned that the UK government have, in fact, just supplied NATO forces in Ukraine with long-range missiles. They're sending a lot of these long-range missiles that can travel up to 155 kilometers to target inside of mainland Russia. So all of these things happening at the same time. Long-range weapons depleted uranium and talk of a summer offensive against Putin. So what did Russia do overnight? To those depleted uranium stockpiles in a giant warehouse with all of these other NATO munitions, this is what Russia just did. Watch. Yeah, that's the massive, massive explosion of depleted uranium shells, among other weapons that NATO keeps sending. These, you know, it's amazing, uh, you know, that these things wind up in these massive warehouses. Russia knows exactly where they are. And it launches Iskander missiles and destroys all of them. What is the purpose of, of billions of dollars being sent for this stuff? Here's another one. Here's another warehouse, another ammunition depot that was also blown up this morning. Yep, there it is. And hit multiple targets. No, no civilian areas. This was specifically ammunition depots, according to the reports. Um, and they're saying, you know, this is the thing. NATO created this mess. More NATO ammunition depots were... These are the only two that we're showing you, but there was plenty more. Tens of millions of dollars of ammunition hit by Russian Iskander missiles. Money well spent. I mean... Money well spent. Well, you have two options. You're going to blow that up if you know where it is, or you're going to wait and say, oh, I hope it doesn't come my way, right? <laughs> he said exactly what he was going to do, and the West still thought that was a worth-it type gamble to send those and put those there. Well, and we've heard, you know, 